Hey YouTubers, Cyberdyne24 here, uh, here to show you uh, a really cool website where I usually I buy quite a bit of my parts from. Um, actually, there are two different sites, but I'm going to show you a few thing, few little things about them, and uh, maybe you might be able to buy your own parts for your own small engine equipment. Now, one particular one website we're going to look at first is uh, PartsTree.com. This is actually a very, very nice site. Um, here, let me just try to get this into focus a little bit better. I got it on my laptop here. Now, this is actually a really, really cool website. As you can see, these are the different these are the different equipment brands that they actually sell replacement parts for. Now, let's say, for instance, I want to get parts for my new Husqvarna 350 chainsaw. You go down here, they pretty much have a huge detailed list of all types of tools that you need. Accessories, safety equipment, auto mower, blower, clearing saw, cutoff saw, chainsaw. And that's where we're actually we're going to uh, choose. We're going to choose chainsaw. And as you can see, there is a boatload of models to choose from. I mean, they even carry a lot of the older models. Like, let's take a look, for instance. I mean, like a 272, that's an old one. Um, 288, very old. That's an older model. They don't make that anymore. Um, let's take, for instance, my three. 350XP, as you can see, there's several different models to choose from, but all you got to do is call their 1-800 number, you'll talk to a service representative, and all you got to do is give, is make sure you have the manuf manufacturer of the product, model number, serial number, and they'll be able to determine which one it is. Now, the person that I bought this from told me this was a 2007 model. By checking with Parts Tree, it's actually a 1998 model. And as you can see right here, you have all the different things to choose from from air filters, crankshaft, crankcase assembly, all the way to the top cover. And it's actually really nice here. Let's just go piston cylinder. And as you can see, let me just try to sort of zoom this out a little bit. As you see right here, it will give you a complete parts diagram and also the corresponding part numbers. So here's all the here's all the parts that actually make up the piston and cylinder. Plus also, if you see right here where it says complete, which means that there's a grouping of these parts right here, like this, the uh, the piston ring, the piston itself, the piston pin, bearing, circ clips is all part is all part of this part number. So you can actually buy a complete kit of this. Unfortunately, with this web, unfortunately with Parts Tree for the 350, they sell the cylinder and piston separately, which eh, I'm kind of a little bit annoyed with because. That means I would have to pay 219 bucks for the cylinder and then have to pay, let's see, another $62.27 for the piston itself. Now, another website that I also have bought parts from is uh, Bailey's. Bailey's is a wide, Bailey's is a very known company is a known online company and you can get a catalog and stuff like that they sell everything from chainsaw parts all the way up to um, they sell chainsaw parts um, all the way up to I mean chainsaw parts brand new chainsaws trimmers hedge clippers all the way to arborist tools wood processing station, wood processing stuff to, you know, your own make your own lumber mills and stuff like that, 
Also, like I said, power equipment. Uh, one thing I'm actually looking at right now is looking at the uh, looking at a piston cylinder kit, and I'm gonna try to actually call and find out and see if this particular one will actually fit mine. Because if that's the case, I'll buy this. Because then I get the uh, I get the actual piston and cylinder. I get the piston and cylinder with it, which is really really nice. I'm hoping that's hoping that will work out because I'd rather pay 219 bucks to get both of them instead of having to pay close to 300 dollars just buying a brand new OEM. But the thing is, if you're gonna if you're gonna rebuild the chainsaw and you want it to last, it's better to just buy OEM products. It's just your best choice to go for. So these are a couple of sites that a couple of sites I use for uh chainsaw parts. I also use eBay, but if you don't have really good familiarity with your parts with the saw that you're working on, it'd be better to just go to someplace like Bailey's or partstree.com so that you have a little bit more control and know exactly what you're getting. So just wanted to sort of show you a little bit on where I get my parts from and Y'all have a good one, YouTubers.